I think it's a great thing that Ford decided to sponsor the HBC Business Classic. It gives entrepreneurs, particularly student entrepreneurs with great ideas, the platform to put their ideas on paper and get judged by seasoned entrepreneurs. After the first two presentations, our judges gave me their initial impressions. I wish we had more time, in fact, to kind of oh, delve yeah, deeper yeah, yeah. Right. and get a better understanding sure. of how well they understand Definitely what they're proposing to do. Definitely was not time to really look at it, but their idea and their ability to say, this is what I want to do and I know how to do it and I'm ready to go. Come, yeah. come with yeah. me. Yeah. Come I, join me. I like the idea that there are young people thinking about starting and building businesses and employing our people and, and are already doing that and have committed to doing that by investing in their own idea first. I think that's it's a little bit more critical. critical. Yeah. When you understand that they've already been down that road and they've mm -hmm. done it, they've they had their trials and errors, and mm -hmm. they've done their R&D and, and, and they've been back and forth 20 times. We've right. got some early impressions, three teams to go. I'll check back in with you later. Welcome back to the Ford HBCU Business Classic, investing in your future. And we are ready for our third team now from Howard University, Baby Billionaire. The reason we didn't come with the rest of the group is because we had some technical difficulties with our presentation um, last night. So it's all resolved now, and now we're here. So you all must be wondering, what is The Baby Billionaire? The Baby Billionaire is a company that provides investment education to companies, employees, and their ch company's employees as well as their children. We seek to create value both in the companies as well as um, in the communities, as well as the company, sorry, excuse me, as well as company, as well as employee retention. Two of the main concepts that we educate our attendees on is the time value of money. A dollar today is worth more than a dollar tomorrow. And then also compound interest which allows students or just anybody to understand how through investing and owning a share of America allows them to make their money work for them rather than them only working for their money. I thought you did an outstanding job with the financials. Can you articulate for me what you see as the pain that you're addressing for the corporation? What's hurting? that you're helping to solve, as opposed to what you're enhancing. I don't think I really understood your analogy. So, in what is the pain that we are alleviating from the company or from their employees? I got really, really, I got really nervous. I don't know why, but, you know, it is what it is. Yin and the yang. When one person is not doing their best on one thing, the other person is always there, and I think that's what happened today on the stage. How do you think you handled the technical difficulties? We've pretty much been up all night trying to fix up our PowerPoint and that probably contributed to you know, the, me, the, the nerves and everything because we were fixing the PowerPoint and then going over it and rehearsing so um, probably had about two, an hour and a half, two hours sleep. But we'll see. The judges still have to decide so you never know. <laughs> right. So. I'll say good luck and we'll see how it all works Thank out. Thank you right. so much. You're Thank very you. welcome. Now it's time for Legacy Arc. Legacy Arc is an architecture design firm that has the niche of and being environmentally friendly. We cater to four markets, residential, industrial, governments, and education. And if the economy is not performing well, we are able to nourish and restore it through possibly building playgrounds through recycling tire, old tires or steel and making it into something efficient or better for the ground or, or partially our environment. Legacy Art is to be established in the year of 2019. Why 2019? Because in 10 years, that will allow us to enable the skills that we need and knowledge to effectively manage our business. Through our services, we just want to let the community know that we care. We're focused on creating green buildings, green environment. We also want to reach out to the community by getting them involved so that it can spread nationally. Is it 2009 now? Or is it, yeah, it's 2009. You realize that in 10 years, um, the management team is gonna change, disassemble, two people are gonna be left, one is going to start fighting with the other. Everything is going to be completely different. So if you come into an investor 
you want money from me now for a business you're going to start in 2019. I would have to tell you to come back in 2019. Can you comment on that? We were just basing that on not getting money from initial investors like, you know, angel investor. We were, that's why we said if we were to invest 50,000, we would save $50,000 each to make it up to $250,000 to start up the business on our own. Boris seemed to come at you pretty hard. It was good to hear. I mean, I, I, we already knew that we was going to get the question why 10 years from now, mm -hmm. but like we were stating before, we need to further our education. There's an opportunity to talk about how you all are laying the foundation and the groundwork right now to get to where you need to be 10 years from now. You did really well, really well. I'm very happy for you. Now we have to see much. what the judges think. All right. All right. Every business has been different, and that's been the great thing today, is we saw so many different businesses, and I think we're kind of seeing a different business for our final group. And once again, another group from Howard University, Hodge Media. Hodge Media is the first interactive and integrative marketing company in existence. We are truly about connecting our clients, our consumers, with our business customers. We do this inside a variety of ways, however, the base is technology. We focus, first of all, on small businesses, which is something that a lot of bigger businesses completely ignore. And we focus on them and we develop their businesses on the needs of their current companies, from the barbershop to providing appointments, to the financial institutions with providing information to, to their clients in a way that they can make better financial decisions. But truly, I believe that Hodge Media has the capability of changing communities. I believe it can change the way that small business is done, and I believe that it can definitely increase the way, increase efficiency, as well as merge the paths of the consumer and, and of business in unique, in unique ways that are different than have ever been done before. We are about merging those paths and increasing the quality of life and the decisions that people make through our services. This is the conclusion. I hope I didn't lose anyone. If you have any questions, he's going to tell you to, that you can ask him of me. But um, let's go. Jamari okay. just walked off stage, and the first thing you said was, damn. Damn. What does that mean? It means I truly thought that I had slowed down. You thought you had slowed down? I truly believed I had slowed down with my talking. I, you know, all I can tell you is you only need the Mach 5 because you all speed racer. <laughs> There's no doubt. You are the Charlie Parker of uh, presenting business plans. Uh, <laughs> you, you, speak, you speak faster than most of us can listen. So my, my, my advice to you, my advice to you, and I know you've heard this before, brother, slow down. <laughs> slow down, right? Catch your breath because we feel your enthusiasm. So you can see that it's something we've talked about with right. you all week, and the judges felt it right away. Exactly. Notwithstanding the pace of your presentation, how do you think you did it otherwise? I believe I did well up until the point where um, Mr. Dr. Pickett said he, he, he doesn't believe it. Um, that, that was a, that's a major hurdle for me. His question spoke specifically to a Bank of America type institution right. advancing six figures oh for a product that was still in development. I don't believe a, a bank would fork over six figures unless they're going to get a cut of the profit from the product itself. At least Randall was willing to offer you some advice yeah. as opposed to saying that even though I don't believe this will happen, so hopefully you can take that Absolutely. and use that for whomever you're going to approach to actually fund your business plan. Absolutely. It's all up to the judges now. Right. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you. Let's see what happens. After months of preparations, the teams have presented their business plans. Now it's up to the judges to decide who will be the winner of the third annual Ford HBCU Business Classic. Let's see if we can get to this winner now. And the winner is...